Today we're launching the EchoStar 23 satellite to geostationary transfer orbit. Now if you looked closely at the rocket or that pad shot, you might have noticed that Falcon 9 looks a little bit different. There are no legs, there are no fins, there's no recovery hardware. The reason for that is tonight we're not going to be attempting a landing, which makes this what we refer to as an expendable launch. But the nine, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off, lift off, lift off. succession very soon here. Uh, the first one is going to be the main engine cutoff of the first stage, so those nine Merlin engines are going to shut off. Directly after that, a few seconds later, we're going to have, uh, ten seconds after that, we're going to have uh, stage separation of the first and second stage, and then immediately following stage separation, we're going to see the second stage engine start up. Stage separation is successful, just waiting for that second stage to start up. And we have a successful startup of the Merlin vacuum engine of the second stage. Uh, second stage looks nominal, and back D is looking good. Uh, right now that Merlin vacuum engine is uh, burning away. Uh, we're getting a nominal prop and nominal trajectory from both the from the second stage. Uh, let's uh, take it down to the floor and uh, see what's going on. Okay, you just saw a successful stage separation and a successful light of the impact engine. Uh, that's a really big, um, a really big milestone. Fairy separation. Uh, Did you see yeah. that the fairy? Oh, you just uh, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Sorry, you couldn't see it. That's great. Uh, that's a huge, uh, a huge milestone for us. So again, MVAC has started up. It's burning. We separated that fairing successfully. You know, up in the vacuum of space, you don't need it anymore, so we ditched it. <laughs> uh, it's still quite a, quite a sophisticated system, the fairing. Apart from c protecting the, the spacecraft during ascent and uh, preventing excess humidity buildup and, and shock loads and things, um, it's also got a really cool system called the re-radiation system, 
uh, just like we don't want to launch our rocket if we can find something wrong with it, it needs a little tweak before launch. Same with the satellite. So if you've got only one chance to, well, I guess you're not able to fix it once it goes to space. So anytime before then, if you can fix it, you want to. Um, but the Farin, being that carbon fiber composite uh, with aluminum honeycomb, is a Faraday cage. And that means you can't get electrical signals in and out very easily. And so you've got a hardware system that will take signals from the satellite, pipe them just to the outside of the fairing, and then re-radiate those signals out so that everyone can listen in and make sure that the satellite is, is still healthy. Uh, that's only active before ascent. In this case, we're not actually using that system during ascent. Now, typically around this period of time, we'll be checking in on stage one. We have those onboard cameras, we're watching the grid fins. But today, again, because this is an expendable launch, we don't actually have a camera on stage one. And again, the reason we're going expendable is instead of coming back down to LZ1 back at the Cape or going down to our drone ship, of course, I still love you, or just read the instructions, is because we needed to use all of the propellant that we had in order to get the performance that we needed to put Echo Star 23 in its intended orbit. But this is like every other rocket launch in history. We've gotten used to these landings, right? Um, but sometimes we have to do it this way. And so uh, it's still super awesome launch, right? So why don't we go on up to Tom and get an update from him. Just another status update for you guys. Uh, looks like the MVAC engine is performing nominally on the second stage. Uh, good engine attempts and good fuel consumption rates. Uh, everything is looking really good in that second stage. Uh, like Lauren was saying, this is a little bit different. Usually we're tracking the first stage coming down for a landing right about right now, uh, but that is not happening this flight. Uh, but the second stage is doing really well, so that's really good news. Uh, we are just about halfway through the first burn of this second stage. Uh, this is an MVAC D that stands for Merlin Vacuum D. It's the same type of engine that we have in our first stage, but specialized for the vacuum of space. Uh, this engine puts out 210 thousand pound feet of thrust uh, and that nozzle you're seeing on your screen right now that red hot nozzle it may look small uh, in the picture but it's actually 10 feet long and about 10 feet in diameter so this is a massive nozzle a niobium alloy radiatively cooled nozzle extension to make sure that we can uh, get up the uh, get all of our performance out in the vacuum of space Right now, MVAC continues to look good. Uh, there's a trajectory is looking really good right now, and all telemetry from the second stage is looking healthy. Right now, the Merlin vacuum is operating just about full thrust, uh, producing about four Gs of acceleration. We begin to throttle it down as the propellant burns off, just so we can keep that acceleration in check. Uh, the next big event is going to be at uh, SECO 1, that's second stage engine cutoff 1, at about T plus 8 minutes and 30 seconds, so about a minute from now. Uh, after that first stage, the second stage engine uh, shut off, we're going to have a brief coast period of about 18 minutes or so, and then we'll be lighting it again. Uh, so to sum everything up, the second stage is looking really healthy, MVAC-D is looking really good, uh, so just a few more minutes left on that burn.